Hey guys, Toothbase Tuber here. Welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. So, what we're going to be doing today, this is a live stream, just so you guys know. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is uh, just chilling out, playing in Kerbal Space Program, our career, or, yeah, our career mode save for YouTube that I have. Um, yeah, and kind of chilling out. So yeah, uh, without further ado, um, I'm going to hop straight into this. Right after I type in the chat, hey there guys, how's life? Alright, so the chat is up, the stream is live according to my analytics page, which means that I'm going to go right into playing. Here's gameplay. Alright. Ba 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 YouTube, that's my career. Alright, I'm not really uh, sure what we're going to be doing today. I just haven't really had time. Life has been busy for me, and I haven't really had time to figure things out. However, we do, uh, I, do, bleh, I do have a bounty of science here, so we can uh, buy some stuff and, you know, have a good time. Oh, position uh, sat 1 mark 2 in an adjusted orbit. Hmm, perhaps we may try to do that. Where is that? That's the Muna. Ah, yes, they want us to put it in a weird orbit. Well, do we have any fuses, then? Um, no, we don't. We have no fuel. Okay, so we're not going to be able to do that. That's why you always give your satellites fuel, to be able to change orbits. And, unfortunately, I just wanted to put a thingy in a high orbit and not have to worry about it. Um, uh, I love water. Um, hey, 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 Kira Airship, welcome to the stream. Welcome aboard, and we're going to be playing Kerbal Space Program today, as you can see. Um, right now, I'm not really certain what we're going to be doing. Oh, bleh, Final Space Frontiers, hello! Life does not exist. There is not life. Oh. So are we just, like, and mindless husks floating in the emptiness of space? With Kerbin and our satellites and stuff? I do not believe so. However, <clears throat> uh, like I said, I don't know exactly what we're going to be doing today. Um, maybe getting to Minmus, or taking another trip to the moon. Uh, maybe to a different biome. Uh, yeah, so right now we only have two satellites orbiting Kerbin. Uh, we are in the fairly early game, uh, between the moon and Minmus stages. Uh, forgive me, I've set up, uh, like, in my own mind, several uh, stages of game. It's like, early game is, um, like... Divided into, like, first launch, then, like, uh, early orbiting, um, late orbiting, then moon, then the inter-moon and minmus phase, the minmus phase, and then, like, um, solar phase. So, yeah, that's where I'm basically at. I'm in the early stage, kind of the mid-stage. Mid um, so we can rendezvous two vessels in the orbit of Kerbin, uh, plant a vessel, or plant, blah, 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 blah. plant a flag on the moon, we uh, have already done. Um, <laughs> I think there's something wrong with my microphone. Indeed, there may be. What's the problem with it? Let's see. Um, messing, 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 messing with my microphone. Making sure it's plugged in. Uh, is it too loud or too quiet or anything like that? Just let me know. And, um, let's see. I'll keep an eye on the chat. It's cool. Um, I have the chat over to the side of my uh, screen and Kerbal Space Program in the middle. It's very handy. Um, rescue Dilvis Kerbin. Kerbin. I cannot speak this evening. It's too loud. Okay, I'll turn it down. Here we go. How's this? We're at... Um, I use OBS to stream, by the way. Um, it says it's at negative 12 decibels right now. Alright. Um, I've turned it down. This should be good. Alright, um, I think, let's see if that works. How's it, how's it now? <laughs> Get off airship, all you say is yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how's your guys' week been? Has it been, um, good, productive? Okay, that's better, awesome. Um, I hope it has been productive. Um, alright, so these tourists want something that's kind of crazy. They want us to land on the moon and orbit Kerbin and all that sort of stuff. That's, that's insane. I'm gonna decline that. Um... We can do a lot of rescuing from orbit, uh, and a keo, keo synchronous orbit. Um, nah, we don't need that. Um, just bear with me, guys. I, I want to know how to, uh, like, position stuff. You know, I might, 
go and put a satellite in orbit of the sun. Just, just for fun. Your 13th birthday is tomorrow. Happy early birthday, senor. Um, I do hope that you're having a wonderful, wonderful bleh, birthday. You wish that you could visit the ISS. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? To just be up there in space, floating around. I can give you a taste of it um, right now. Hold on. Here. This is a sort of view that you could get from the ISS. Probably actually a bit lower, because the ISS is closer in orbit. But, uh, yeah. This is just a little satellite I've put up here. Um, it does not have any fuel left? No, it has no fuel left. Okay. Um, and its periapsis is just above the atmosphere. Uh, okay. So I think what we're going to try to do today is... Um, oh, my birthday is end now. Hmm. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite... Bleh. Guys, I can't speak. I'm not quite sure how to interpret that, but uh, I shall do my very best. Conduct temperature surveys of the moon. Um, no, I, I don't think that that's uh, smart. Um, EVA report on the surface. Well, one guy paid money to go to the ISS in 2008. Did he go to the ISS? I don't know. Oh, your birthday is January 1st. Well, happy, happy belated birthday to you by about a month. Um, mm. uh, sorry, guys, I'm very thirsty, and you're getting some nice ASMR up in here. But you don't want the nice ASMR. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think going to Kerbin, or, first of all, rendezvousing two vessels, and maybe going, uh, into orbit of the sun would be very good. Um, orbit of the sun. Test the stack decoupler on escape trajectory. We can do that. And here we go. Challenge accepted. Now let's get some more, uh, stuff these stuffs up in here. We can, I think, purchase all of these. Because we have so much science. We just returned from a landing on the moon. Which has given us bountiful, bountiful amount, amounts of science. I cannot speak for the life of me. Um, oh, he paid $20 million for it. Wow, that is fantastic. I thought you said uh, $20 for it. Um, I would be rather skeptical of that story, but uh, thanks for the amendment. Um, Kirov says, uh, like, whoa, wait, whoa. Yeah. Um, we have no information from anything. Whoa, excuse me, I burped. Anything other than Kerbin and the Moon. Um, let's see. You best be rich. Yeah, it's... Uh, this is a life tip, guys. It's easy to be rich. It's very easy. <laughs> I think that is fantastic, landing on the Moon. Um, uh, let's see... I did also land on the moon in the last... Or, I did actually land on the episode... I landed on the episode in the moon! I landed on the moon in the last live stream that I did last uh, Saturday. Yeah, at 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. But, um... Yeah, I have yet to do so. Um, or, I have yet to do so in this stream. And I don't I don't think I shall again, just because I don't think it's quite useful here. Okay. Um... Or spend your entire life becoming an actual astronaut. That would that would be fun, honestly. I, I had a soft spot in my heart. I think all kids did for being an astronaut when I was younger. But uh, life kicked in, and I realized that such fool, such foolish things are for the children of life. Okay. Actually, no, they're not. There are people, many, many people, who can follow their dreams and do exactly what they wish. But uh, the follow your dreams message is kind of uh, overrated and used too much in modern cinema. So I shall stop. I shall stop boring you with such a thing. Um, we can get just one goo report because from uh, from orbit of the sun. One goo one report from all this stuff uh, from the sun. Uh, experimental storage unit we don't need. Uh, flight computer unit is that bigger or is that smaller? This is smaller. Okay, we only need this. So what is the difference between this and um, and this? I'm not sure, but uh, there must be some difference. <laughs> Dang, Disney taking over everything, he says. Yep, Disney is pretty much evil. Disney used to be great. Oh, anyone have a kitten or a cat? I do, Kirov. I have two marvelous, marvelous kittens. I'm learning uh, Spanish, the language, and therefore I call them gatito. 
um, Gatito and Gatita. And if I really like them, uh, they're Los Gatitos, and I love them to death. They're so beautiful. You have a kitten. What? What is they? What is they? My goodness, guys, I cannot speak this evening. Um, let's, let's see. Um, what color are they, and what are their names? Mine are, uh, one is black and white, and her name is Louise. Uh, and the other is pure black, like all black, and her name is Sweetie. They are both darling, darling kittens. And I love them to pieces. Um, let's see. I see let's see a lot. I say let's see a lot. My goodness. I'm dyslexic, apparently, this evening. Don't ask me why. I couldn't tell you. So don't ask me why. Okay. That was my best Elvis impersonation. Um, I can't sing that well. Um, one of them is currently missing. Oh, seriously? You have a missing cat? Dude, that's horrible. I remember one time, um, b back when we had other cats, um, we we've only ever had two at a time, maximum. Uh, and we had another cat one time, his name was Dusty. And he disappeared, um, for five days. The same five days that my dad was gone on a business trip. And so, uh, and then the day, the day my dad got back, he got back. It was insane. Like, he was just gone for five days, and then the fifth day, he just walked back into, into the house like nothing had ever happened. It was insane. Um, so he joked that he, like, burrowed away in my dad's car. <laughs> and followed him down to San Francisco or wherever. Um... The, uh, and one of them was missing but returned last night when her collar got stuck in, uh, with her collar stuck inside her. Wait, seriously? What are you talking about, man? She ate her collar? I'm currently missing, uh, a cat. Her is named Jin. Oh, the cur the currently missing cat is named Ginger. I cannot speak. Save me. You live in Australia, right, currently? Um, I believe, I'm not certain, and you don't have to answer if you're, uh, uncomfortable with that. However, um, I can't, like, a cat loose in Australia just seems like a bad sitcom, you know? It seems dangerous for the, the poor kitten. Um, let's see. Oh, hello, Camden Wright! Book covers and such. Welcome to the live stream. I know you. And, um, let's see. Um, we're just doing a Kerbal Space Program live stream. The one who returned last night was named Trigger. I hope Trigger is, uh, untriggered. <laughs> you know, me. Um, and, uh, let's see. The tip of it was stuck in her skin. Oh, poor thing. Delta 1, Delta 2, Delta 3, Delta 4. American rockets. They are indeed American rockets. We are proud space-faring nation of the glo- uh, Sorry, wrong, wrong nation. Of the glorious, glorious fatherland. No, I'm just kidding. Totally wrong. Um, totally wrong and politically incorrect. <laughs> so this is going to be our probe. Um... Delta V, we actually have a pretty good thrust to weight ratio right now. Good Delta V of 1,341 meters per second. Um, but once we slap a nose cone on this and everything, it's going to degrade probably quite a bit. Um, actually, what I'm going to do is go... I'm going to sing, first of all, because everyone wants to hear me sing. That's, uh, that's a joke, if you guys didn't, didn't catch that. It's okay. Humor is hard. <laughs> and the other cat is named Tinker. Tinker! Tinker Tanner! Yes. Yes, if you know the song. Then, uh, ha -ha. Inside joke. This is gonna be fun! It is gonna be fun. We're gonna go to the moon. Uh, Kirov airship. Even the Delta Three actually never flew. True, true. But, um, the, the other Delta rockets kind of made up for it. And it's, uh, subpar. Ooh, excuse me. I, I'm burping a lot. I just had breakfast, or had dinner. Oh, and apparently I'm dyslexic and can't say any words this evening. I apologize for my apparent, um, vagueness, you know. <clears throat> the program, it was cancelled, yes. Um, really? No, don't sing! Okay, I won't sing. Unless you guys really want me to. I mean, if I, I can. I mean, if, if you guys have never heard me sing, I mean, so I could totally, I could totally do it. I mean, if you want me to. I'm just joking. Please don't make me sing. I'm, I'm I sing horribly. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Plug these into here, and let's see. I had burgers. 
Burgers for dinner are fantastic. Um, I'm going to quickly Google uh, KSP Delta V Delta V Delta V map. Um, I want to figure out how to get to specific places in name just Kerbin SOI edge. 5,130 meters per second of delta V. Okay, this is easily doable, just with this, with this rocket alone. Um, cool, I'm gonna give it just a couple boost boosters, I think. Can I actually take that away, because we don't need it. And, um, you have a puppy named Baby, oh. And you have two dogs named Isabella and Moco. And two ferrets named Pip and Tammy. My goodness, you have a veritable menagerie on your hands. As do we, we have two chickens, um, and the chickens' names are Star and Peaches. It was funny, uh, we hatched Peaches from an incubator, so she is our baby through and through, and my baby specifically. And um, Star, rather interestingly, fell from the veritable sky. Um, she appeared one night after a big storm uh, in our neighbor's yard, and our neighbor called us and was like, Hey, one of your chickens got loose, and we were like, uh, we don't have any... We don't have any unaccounted for chickens. And he was like, well, you better come get them. And, uh, yeah. So, thus, the chicken appeared. That should be the name of, like, a, a movie. The chicken appears. <laughs> Maybe a horror film. Um, chickens are, are horrible. Hello, it's Toka. Welcome aboard. Um, let's see. Wait, are you a father? <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, well, okay. I'm a father to my, my little babies. My pets. My pets are my children, you know. The relationship that you have with any good pet is a mentoring, caring relationship. At any rate, that is my philosophy for good and happy, for a long and happy life. And uh, I have illustrated it in my book, A Good and Happy Life, by Toothpaste Tuber. Which you can learn. No, I'm just kidding. I don't have a book. <laughs> Let's see. Um, oh, that was a foul move. Didn't mean to do that. Hold on. Go like that. Let's see. Um, the chicken appears from across the road. A new challenger enters the arena. It is a chicken. <sighs> um, yes, but in reality, she did just appear out of nowhere, and it was rather fortuitous. Um, because our previous crop of chickens had just been uh, killed by our neighbor's dog. The same neighbor, in fact, who called us. He was so, so apologetic, and, you know, a really great guy. And it wasn't really his fault at all. It was just his dog's. And uh, we have, we love those dogs. The dogs are the cutest, sweetest puppies ever. Finn and Seamus. I love them. Anyway, um, warning, do not say bad words. Did I say anything bad? Because if I did, I did not mean to. This is supposed to be a family-friendly channel. As much as it can be. Have to go. Bye-bye. Bye, Camden. Why? Why, as Toka says, indeed. And why is the question that we will all be asking Camden Wright right now? Actually, that isn't how you say his name. Cademan. That's it. Um, I moved my, or you moved your KSP stream by three hours. Oh, are you going to stream uh, an hour? Or in an hour? So it now starts three hours after before. Which, which is after or before. We'll call this the soul... Hmm. Hmm. That's it. Solar plexus. <laughs> after. Okay. Now it starts three hours after. Cool, I might be able to, like, if I am feeling wakeful in the middle of the night, I can come watch it. <laughs> um, let's see, so we have 6,353 meters per second, uh, which should easily get us there. Let's do this. So yes, if you guys didn't know, our goal is to launch into the sphere of influence, or out of the sphere of influence of Kerbin. Let's see... If we can accomplish this goal. I'm now streaming three hours later than usual. All right. Apollo 11, 12, and 13 were American moon landers. Indeed. Uh, it's an interesting tale, if you guys have not heard it, about the Luna missions, which were uh, Russian impact probes that landed on the surface of the moon. Some better than others, some softer than others. And um, if you'll excuse me, I'm burping a lot this evening. Mm, the soup we had was fantastic. Mm. Ah, but at any rate, 
We are launching into the stratosphere. Up to the highest height. Up, low, uh, let's go fly a kite. If you guys haven't seen that movie, it's well worth renting. Um, or watching, for any reason. Jettisoning boosters, and we have a bit of booster collision, and then they fly away. Okay, cool. Which means we don't have to worry about it. This is actually a pretty good launch. Um, so far, we're going pretty good. Anyone got hashtag Falcon Heavy hype? Um, not exactly hype. Um, however, um, maybe uh, hoping that it doesn't go bad. Um, SpaceX does like to have a lot of launch failures. We all know that, and landing failures. Um, but that's because they're a private company. And um, me says it's Toka. It's Toka has uh, has hype. The hype train has no brakes. All right, um, and we are launching directly toward the sun, which is our new friend in this universe. The Kerbals truly are not alone when we have such wonderful friends as the Kerbals. You are as the sun. You'll be right back. It's Toka. We'll be waiting. Um, let's see. Um, we are getting toward a pretty high apoapsis, and we'll see. Um, do I have an altitude vessel? Delta V total. Um, right, we are losing Delta V capability. Cool, so I have time to flame out right over here. Delta V stage 3, which is my current stage. Just about 30 seconds. Um, let's see, my mass is changing, my suicide burn distance, and suicide burn Delta V is going up because we are accelerating rather than decelerating. Um, let's see, we have reached our apoapsis. Fantastic. With all the uh, Falcon Heavy hype, everyone's forgot that there's a Falcon 9 launch in two days. Indeed, I did not know about that. Um, Neil Armstrong Edwin Buzz was, uh, Buzz Aldrin, I believe, was his name. Not, uh, Edwin Buzz. Who is the one? The one is Neil Armstrong, I do believe. He's the one who landed on the moon. However, I feel bad for Jack Swaggart. Uh, no, sorry, that's the wrong, uh, guy. Fred Hayes! Nope, not, not, it's Apollo 13. Um, what's the guy's... <laughs> See, everyone forgets. The guy's name who was actually on Ele Apollo 11 who didn't get to go to the moon. Who had to fly around keeping the, uh, the LEM, uh, serviceable in, in orbit. Um, let's see... In two days and 18 hours, they will launch. Exactly. That is very fantastic, actually. Alright. We're nearing apoapsis. Time to apoapsis. Alright. Apoapsis height. We don't want to be going up at all. But we want the time to apoapsis to be kept at around 3 seconds. Oh, we have burnout. Okay, launch. That's the stack decoupler. Oh, which which stack decoupler was this? Please let it be the right one. I forgot to check the criteria. That was the wrong stack decoupler. Well, shoot. Okay, we're not going to get this. Michael Collins. Yes, Michael Collins was his name. Thank you. Um... Yeah, Mike Collins. Apollo 11, CMP. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Alright. We are burning. Alright. Fantastic. Let's quick save here. We are rocket men, ladies and gentlemen. We are here. There are no ladies on stream, but it's just, it sounds nice to say, ladies and gentlemen. Um, alright. We have jettisoned our fairing. We can now extend our antennae. Um, and yes, I do believe we are pretty darn good. Part count, all right. Break this, and it doesn't matter in which orientation we actually do launch. Um, I prefer to launch us downwards, because that will be better. Which means we're at a perfect time to burn now, in fact. We're going to slow ourselves down and try to drop into the sun while accelerating out of the sphere of influence of Kerbin. Orbital, uh, orbital stuff. Buckwild bees. Hello, Toothpaste Tuber. Welcome to the stream. 
and uh, I do hope you enjoy. Um, today we are going to be launching this probe, which you shall see, this space probe, um, with the help of only the only uh, like mod that we have is Flight Engineer, Kerbal Engineer, point one one three. Excuse me, I burped. Point one one three, and um, we are launching it into the sphere of influence of the sun. And yeah, so basically, we're just trying to get um, this probe out there so it can give us some science. And there we go. How do you know? How do ya know? How do I know what? I'm not sure what he's talking about, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, hurry. Okay, we're definitely getting out of the sphere of influence of Kerbin. By the way, did I tell you that, guys, that I've gone to the moon without actually uh, upgrading patched conics? Without patching conics? Alright, here we are. We are in orbit. This is fantastic. I've been a space nerd since I was two. Fantastic! I have as well. I've been a space nerd for as long as I can remember. I'm actually a history nerd, really, in every conceivable sense of the word. Um, let's see. So we didn't even need the main maneuveral, maneuvering, uh, like, thing here. Whatever it's called. Um, maybe we can actually get down and, uh, kill this thing in the sun. That's probably too much to ask, but, um, one never knows. What's my delta V in the other stage? 1,000 meters per second. So, okay, from curve and orbit. Okay, hold on. Um, I'm going to pause this, and you guys are going to be stuck with pause screen for a minute. Um, but I am going to go to the KSV, or KSP delta V thingy. To um, solar low orbit to surface. From the SOI edge to the surface of there. Alright, you need 6,600 meters per second to drop it in, onto the surface of the sun just from solar orbit, or from high orbit over Kerbin. Alright, break. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. We are go for solar science data collection. Let's see. Um, you subbed. Thank you, Buck Wild Bees. Why did you sub? I have no idea. How can my content be so appealing? That is the question that every YouTuber asks himself at some point. Um, let's see. Does anyone know that, uh, did anyone know that Orion's Belt, uh, that is a constellation? Yeah, um, Orion's Belt, actually, it's funny, uh, of all the constellations in the sky, Orion has always been the one to me that I never saw. I've never gotten, like, Oh, that's a hunter, you know. Let's see, um... We can make transmission... Transmit data... Okay, require complete. Require complete. And require complete. Okay. Cool. Now we can send this thing, and it will just transmit for a while. Okay! <clears throat> yes. Here we go. We have gathered our first scientific data from the sun. Which we don't get science for, unfortunately, or we don't get a quest for. We can observe materials bay, and we can transmit that data, and it will transmit for a long, long time. <laughs> close doors. Can we close those doors? Can we? Yes, we can, fortunately. Uh, you watch Spoon the Gamer streams, right? I do, I do. Uh, he is a very fantastic YouTuber, and I highly suggest that anyone watching the stream right now should go sub to him. Um, definitely fantastic. Um, I do, in fact. Uh, let's see. Who is your star sign? Um, I'm not sure what my star sign is. I feel I've seen you there. You have seen me there, senor. You're Aquarius. I believe, uh, I forget what I am. How do you tell what someone is, what their star sign is? What's the high gain antenna say? Right. Two signs added. Research and development. Okay. Cool. I think I need to stay on this vessel until the transmission is ended. I'm not certain. Come on, upload data. Upload data. Come on. What's the birth month? November. 
My no my birth month is November. I'm sure I could find a uh, a thingy like an online thingy. Yo, remember when? Yo, re you remember when was playing or birthday? World War Two or World War Two had a temporary truce. Um, yeah, I'm the dude. You got Discord. Um, who's that dude? I believe Kishchov. Um, or Kishchov. Kistrov, you and uh, you, Kistrov and Kirov should be having a good time right now with names like those, telling each other about things in the chats and all that sort of stuff. Okay, we're at thirty percent. We're getting pretty far away from Kerbin, actually. I'm surprised that we still have a uh, signal. Or do we? I don't know. I'm gonna actually leave this because we have plenty of data. Excuse me. <clears throat> Um, airship, your Capricorn. Okay, cool. So Kirov is a Capricorn. Uh, what am I? Oh, it's good. Oh, it's pr it's not pronounced uh, Kistrov. Okay, how's it pronounced then? Kiso or Kishov. Okay, so I'm I'm horrible with pronunciations. Uh, Kishov. Then stack decoupler splash down at Kerbin. We can do that in a un momento. Uh, let's see. So this stack decoupler thing on escape trajectory out of Kerbin. I don't want to decline it, because, you know. What's your birthday? Mine is November the 26th. Uh, 2077. No, I'm just kidding. November the 26th. Um, you guys can check it out. And, uh, let's see. Failure, decline. Do I get any penalty for canceling? Yeah, cancel. Okay, so it cost me some money, but what the heck. Um, it's not like we care about penalties or fines, do we? Oh, not a bit, senor, not a bit. Um, second one. Yeah, November. Um, November is the 11th month. Let's see. I don't know why I said that. That's, that's pretty much obvious. Um, Sagittarius. Uh, Tooth, do you have Discord? I do indeed have Discord. Why dost thou ask me such a question as this? Um, it's... Uh, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. Darn it! Um, what was I going to load? I was going to load from the space plane hangar the Poodlefire. <laughs> Buckwild, I've seen you there on other streams, so I thought I'd check out your streams. Thank you. You subbed just sharing the love. Thank you! Thank you for sharing the love. Let's see, what is the stack decoupler that I wanted from me? The TR-81. Or 1-8. It's this one. Okay, cool. We can just go like that. And then... I like how this thing is the poodle fire, e even though it's running off of a Juno engine. Come on. There we go. That's the orientation in which I want you. Alright. We will have you go like this. Okay, good. Um, Orion, Taurus, Cygnus, Pegasus, Ursa Major, and Minor are constellations. Kirov airship, why are you just dishing out random scientific facts about space? <laughs> it seems rather random, just so you know. I whoa. Oh, we we bottomed out. That was uh that was rather stupid. You have notifications on, so I just clicked it, and as soon as I saw, I'm guessing you didn't start too long ago. No, I started about half an hour ago, and I should be going for about another half an hour. Um we generally stream from seven to eight on this show, PST, Pacific Standard Time. Um, oh, oh, don't bottom out. It bottomed out again. Okay. Let's see. Um, according to your star sign, you are serious, cold, thoughtful, ambitious, and other traits like that. You sound kind of like Severus Snape. Um, would that describe you? Uh, what am I, uh, Final Space Frontierist? You are a veritable wealth of knowledge about such things. Am I serious, cold, brooding, and such? Or what would you guys say about my personality? based on um, the traits that you have listed. What is a Sagittarius personality like? Please, I would very much rather enjoy it. I would very much enjoy that, I say. Let's see. Um, so we're going to be heading down to the shore. Uh, this is rather boring, guys. I'm sorry, but uh, this is the best con uh, content I can furnish. I won't blame you if you don't stick around. This is kind of boring. But, uh, you know, every YouTuber is boring sometimes. By the way, did you guys know that uh, Subnautica has released? Gosh darn it! 
Ah! I just got impatient with the time acceleration there. Okay. Alright. Alright. That's the sound of my frustration. And we're gonna bottom out. Because who gives a schnickle for it? What version of KSP are you running? I'm running the 1.3 version, the most recent. Um, I, I do have one mod on it, uh, Kerbal Engineer. Uh, however, it's kind of a stock-alike mod that just helps you with delta V calculations. It's not like adding new parts or anything like that. It, it does add two new parts, but it, those parts just further the mod. They're not like standalone like modules or anything like that. Serious, cold, thoughtful, ambitious, and other traits like that? That that is that is what he said. Would those would those describe you? Alright, nope, nope, nope. Alright, we're gonna have to run this at normal time acceleration, folks. Sorry about that. Nothing to be helped. We can go plugging along at a pretty good thing. Let's see. According to my sign, this should be interesting. Um, I, I like these little personality tests. You are energetic, bold, tidy, charismatic, and other traits. Well, okay. Uh, uh, energetic. Um, no, I'm, I'm kind of a slow thing and tired all the time. But that could just because I'm in school uh, and I always have to do work. Bold. No, I'm a wallflower. Totally not bold at all. Uh, tidy. I, I can deal with living in a, a dirty kind of... Well, not dirty. I can deal with living in a cluttered area so long as I know where everything is. But I do prefer it to be, on the whole, relatively clean. Um, and char charismatic. I say charismatic. Uh, AeroSpaceX, welcome to a stream. Um, charismatic. I said it again. Charismatic. You guys can decide whether I'm charismatic. Um, I have no idea, and I personally don't think so. Um... Yeah, airship. Yep, that's what someone of your star sign is like. Uh, Buckwild bees says cool. And yes, aerospace X. I said hello. And uh, I just found out that my girlfriend is an Aries, and Gemini. Wait, Geminis are compatible with Aries. Is that where you are? Are you a Geminis? Because if so, that'd be very interesting. The horoscopes are lining up. <laughs> Da, 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 da. Also, I like on the models of these, you can see like burnt rubber or whatever on the tops of the, or on the sides of the wheel wells. Um, the, the wheels are backwards currently, but you know, this is just a derpy little test rover. Um, what is your star sign, Aerospace X? Aerospace X, yes. Um, whoa, slow down. He's, uh, Final Space Frontiers is taking our, uh, our, like, star signs. And telling us about ourselves based on those. Alright, we have tested it. And we have gotten our test. Fantastic. Um, Alright, cool. And we have those. Awesome. Oh, you're a Sagittarius as well. Welcome aboard, Aerospace Hex. I'm Sagittarius too. So, by, based on that, um, he said earlier that energetic, bold, tidy, and charismatic are our traits. Um... Yeah, same as toothpaste. It's funny, my dad is also my birth month. Airstream protective shell, splashdown at Kerbin. Okay. More splashdown science. Um, let's see. Position satellite in specific orbit of Kerbin. Um, actually, what we can do... Oh, actually. Kerbin. Okay, yeah, we have to rendezvous two things. Um, would those traits describe you, uh, Aerospace X? Let's see. Capricorn. Okay, what I'm going to do, guys, is pull up the cheats menu, and just to, and basically, I'm going to get rid of that test shell, because I'm just going to complete it, because, you know, um, I don't want to waste your guys' time on the live stream. But I could have done that without any expense. Um, let's So it wouldn't have changed anything at all. Uh, that description sounds like me. Interesting, Aerospace X. By the way, I highly recommend that you guys all take the Myers-Briggs personality type test. It's very interesting, and for at least me, it was insightful into my commentary. Uh, my commentary, I say. I meant my, um, like, who I am. I felt pretty similar, actually, to what it described me as, based on the thing. 
Um, I believe I'm the INFJ-A personality type. And yes, I have a dash. Um, I think it's like I'm less than 1% of the population has me or whatever, has my type. Um, yeah, not to boast, but just to, to tell the truth. Um, let's see, I thought I had a like a, a thingy in here. Let's see, is this it? Nah, this isn't it, but this will do. Um, let's see, um, yeah, but the Miners Briggs, definitely go take that test. It's very interesting and insightful. Let's see, um, we can move the parachute. We can move all these. We don't need any science. And we probably even don't need a heat shield, realistically, but I'm just going to give it 40 ablator to be, actually 60 ablator just to be safe. Uh, it generally only takes like 20 to 30, sometimes 40 if you're if you're very unlucky. Uh, but we're just coming from low carbon orbit, so we won't have to worry. I'm putting a, dock, a docking clamp on there. Also, um, we have a monoprop in there. We could do with, I suppose, one more monoprop, and then let's see, put those there and. I definitely am not going to use all this. I'm just going to put it down to 30. So I'll have uh, 70 all told, if my math is right. Which my math has no reason to be right. Like, seriously, I'm horrible at math. But uh, if it is right. Alright, um... Is 2,000 meters per second enough for orbit? I don't think so. I don't think so. So what I'm going to do is take these, put on some thumpers instead, and these should work like magic. Put it like that. And also, instead of that, we're going to go four. And we're going to make four fins. And better fins. Because we don't need this. We need better. We desire better. Um... Also, I have an official plan for my channel when I uploaded certain videos. Cool. I don't know what that means exactly, but uh, vote of confidence here. Um, let's see. What uh, what was I going to do? Put a nose cone on here. Let's see. Um, place that. And let's see. This plan is using GT or GMT plus 8 time, by the way. I don't know what any of this means. Ah! Delta V is that is, yeah, Delta V that is. Um, could someone quickly do boopity boop research and tell me how much Delta V it is to get into Kerbin orbit, low care, low Kerbin orbit? Actually, you know what? Never mind. Scratch that. I'll do it myself. I was just thinking one of my friends might be on the chat and they'll be like, "Oh, it's like three thousand and then you know, they'll overcomplicate it. Low orbit. 4,000 meters per second. Okay. So 4,000 meters per second. That's under what I got. I'm Filipino, but I'm taking English. Fantastic! I'm English, but... Or well, actually, I'm not English. I'm American. However, I'm taking Spanish as a language to learn. It's a very interesting language, and I find that it makes a lot more sense than English does. The more I learn about other languages, I, I like German and, and French, I know a little bit about as well. The more I realize English is just kind of messed up. Like, it's just weird. And it makes no freaking sense at all. Um, on Wednesday nights, I upload a video disproving a space conspiracy theory or video about space fact. Um, I would do that, like, once a video or once a week video thing. I just can't. Like, seriously, I just don't have it in me. I don't have enough stuff. What was I going to say? I don't have enough time or energy, really, to do special videos. You speak Russian. Fantastic. I actually don't speak any language fluently other than English. But as I said, I'm working on Spanish. Uh, now that we have this amount of Delta V, I don't need any more than that. So we can take this, angle it a little bit. We'll call this the... What's a name for a rendezvous? Um... I am horrible at naming things. Uh, let's see. The Facehugger. Dun dun dun! 
That's good. Um, this is something good to listen to in the background. This live stream? I'm glad, because um, I listen to live streams in the background, too, and I, I never say so, because I always feel like it's kind of rude, but I guess it isn't, really, when I think about it. It's not rude to say, hey, I listen to your stuff in the background, because it's soothing. And I have a very soothing voice, don't I? <laughs> That's a joke, I don't. Um, so, one thing, before I launch this, uh, I don't have a parachute, which will be very handy. There. No, that's two. I only need one. I, I, I said I only need one. There. Um. Okay. Bear with me, guys. I hope we can finish this before uh, live stream ends. Uh, before I turn into a pumpkin at eight o'clock. <laughs> that's why I quit streaming. Cause every every set. Whoa! I burped again. Every Saturday night, I turn into a pumpkin to eat. Mm. Alright, um, let's see. Uh, on Saturday night at, at 6.30pm, I do a weekly KSP stream, about an hour. And that's his time, by the way. Um, how to find Orion, uh, the three stars. Um, and that's Orion's belt. Yeah, I'm, I've never been good at finding Orion, interestingly. That's the only one I can never I can never find. Air SpaceX. Uh, what about the name? Uh, what about the name? Fices you, knowing the start of the two fish that can dock. What? I don't know what you're saying. What about the name? Uh, uh, hold on, I'm reading your comment. Huh. I don't know. Anyway, um, everyone, if you're up that like really late for my times, my for my time zone, go watch Final Space Frontier's live stream in a couple of hours. Um, I promise you, it'll be well worth it. In the USA, is it night? Um, in the PH morning. Um, right now it's 7 p.m. Pretty dark, or it's almost eight. Pretty dark outside. Um, do I have everything? Cannot transmit science. We don't need transmit science. All right, Jebediah and Valentina are going to rendezvous in orbit. Um, and yeah, I would make a joke about rendezvousing, but uh, I won't, because this is a family-friendly channel, <laughs> and Final Space Frontierist is is but a young thirteen-year-old and. His mind cannot be troubled. Um, my live stream is in seven hours for KSP, so you guys can watch all that stuff. What time is it for you? Is it uh, mid-afternoon where you are right now? I should know this, but I'm an uncultured fiend, so... No, 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 no. Okay, we're going over too steep. Forget about that. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Um... The face hugger one. Oh, I get what you mean. Yeah. Let's see. We'll go straight up for just a little ways. I didn't. I didn't bother to look at my thrust weight ratio on this thing, and I realized that I should have looked at it closer, because it's really not that great at all. <laughs> it's nearly 3 p.m. for me. Okay. 3 p.m. in an Australian afternoon. And I don't do an Australian accent, but I do do a good Scottish one. I, d I do a Scottish one that you can understand. Um, it's near. It's 11.49 a.m. here. Oh, interesting. Do not play Minecraft at 3 a.m. Is it scary? Is it terrifying? I don't know. Actually, I've never found Minecraft to be particularly scary. Um... I've just found it to be more exciting and interesting. Although, I play with mods uh, sometimes. I have a 1.7.10 version of the game that has like thousands of, or that has like tens of mods on it, including Galacticraft. And I, something about space, I've always loved it. And even in Minecraft, when I have this, I have this base on the surface of uh, Mars in, in that game. And I just wake up in the morning and I just look out and see the sun along the orange horizon and see Earth 
up in the distance, and it's so beautiful. There's something about space games, just the sense, the epic sense of loneliness, the sense of epic loneliness that you get. It's fantastic. It's it's rather rather amazing. You know, we might not even have enough thrust weight ratio to get to space, guys. Oh, actually, yes, here we are. We are going. Let's see. Sigh. That stupid myth created by clickbaity YouTubers. Oh, because it's dangerous, you know. I'm 13, and I know that. <laughs> yep. It's funny. I, I found that uh, adults tend to think of children as stupider than children really are. And um, it it's very interesting, because... I, I still am a child by uh, adult standards, you know, by adult standards. And, um, you know, I, I feel like, oh, uh, here. Yeah, this thing doesn't have the profile to launch. Okay, we're going to give this thing some more juice. You're eight years old. Well, how, how well, hardly how then? I am going to n decline to state my age. Just because this is YouTube and I'm a content creator and there are creepy people out there. So it may be well advised if you guys don't want your age to be known not to put it up on YouTube just for smarts. And not that I'm going to creep you. I'm, I will not creep on anyone. But I don't want other people who are watching the stream afterwards when I post it later to creep on you. So privacy all around. Let's see. Um... Your mom didn't teach, didn't give me any tech until I was nine. Oh, are you 16? Um, don't ask, because I will not say. Um, however, I've never really had all that much tech. Um, it's funny, I've never had like a, a gaming uh, setup, like a, a Xbox or a PlayStation or any, bleh, anything like that. Uh, no, nothing of that sort. Uh, I have played games, though, from almost as long ago as I can remember, so, on the, on the computer. Um, whoa, we have way too much thrust. <sighs> we have a lot of excess thrust, and I really hope Jebediah is okay with the G-forces that he is pulling. Message retracted. Final Space Frontiers, why did you retract it? Um, by the way, um, I need some good people, good smart people cool people to uh moderate my live stream chat and final space frontierists if you're ever on i nominate you to be a moderator for my channel there are uh like thingy ma things and if there are creepy people on you can shoo them away if you do want to i'm not actually 13 he says well you don't have to state your age if you don't want to just like i said because privacy um I'm 12 in 364 days. I thought you just said... Wait, I thought... I thought you said your 13th birthday was just a bit ago. OMG, thank you, he says. Oh, what about me? You can definitely be a moderator as well. So I have two good moderators on. And I can actually cut throttle. I said cut throttle. Okay, cool. We're, we're way too high. But, um... Uh, that should be okay. Um, let's see. So now we have two moderators, which is pretty cool. And, um, yeah. So now I don't have to, like, watch the chat. It, honestly, it's not a big problem, like, for me, since I don't have that many viewers on a chat. But, um, you know, um, I only have, like, to eight tops in, in live streams. So, honestly, if anyone says anything inappropriate, I have ample time and opportunity to retract that statement for them. However, I want it to be absolutely clear that nothing of that sort will be tolerated, and it will be taken down immediately. Your birthday is tomorrow. All right, but you said that you were 13, and so I'm I'm not going to trust you. I can't trust anybody now. Okay, I'm going to burn. Okay. That thing will fall back to Earth, so we're, or Kerbin, so we're not littering. Because the Kepler effect, or, no, it's not the Kepler effect, it's the, uh, uh, I forget what it is. Kessler. Kessler syndrome is real, and it will affect you. Kessler syndrome is when there's tons of, like, space debris orbiting a planet, so much so 
that it's dangerous for outgoing space vessels. All right, we are launching. We're trying to get into an orbit. Trying. I sound like Kermit the Frog when I do that. Trying. I was going to say, everyone give me your best, um, <laughs> this is funny, I was going to say, everyone give me your best impersonations of people, but then I realized that this is more of a one-way conversation, and that wouldn't wor really work out that well, so yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, by the way. If this were a multi-way conversation, I think that'd be really, really cool, but unfortunately YouTube doesn't support that, nor would it be quite practical if it did. Let's see. Are we getting into space? Okay, we need to we need to get this thing better. We need to get this orbit way better looking. So right now it kind of looks like a potato. Yeah, my orbit looks like a potato and I'm proud of it. Actually, I'm not really proud. All right. Our orbit is not circular in the slightest, but I, it's okay, because OCG doesn't really bother me all that much. All right, Jebediah is now orbiting. So now I will go back, and I will get Valentina up into space. And uh, this live stream will go a bit long. Also, forgive me, I've uh, not yet posted my other live stream. Um, let's see. Phoenix Hugger 1, I will get Valentina up in there. Let's see. You could set up a Discord chat where we can where we can talk to you and vice versa. That would be rather cool. Um, I'm not quite sure though, because Discord is more for like gaming and stuff. And I feel like you guys could play along with me and like play your own games while I'm playing and stuff, and that would be really fun. But I feel like it, it like what would we do with YouTube and stuff? Yeah, I've used Discord before, and I I know how it works. But uh, yeah, I like. I like YouTube, and I, I don't know what we'd do with the live streams if we did that. Jeb is dead. No, Jeb is alive. He's just floating around in space waiting for Valentina. And then they're going to dock, and it's going to be beautiful, and... Oh my gosh, it's going to be so pretty. <laughs> it's going to be so pretty. And we'll get rid of those. And we have clean booster sap, even though something smacked into us. It broke, and we didn't, thank goodness. That's kind of the Kerbal motto. If it broke and you didn't, then you're okay. Alright, so we have to match orbits with it, and then we have to go exceed that orbit, and go faster or slower than it, depending on what we want. Um, we don't actually have patch conics, so maybe when we get up there we'll uh, upgrade one of our, our buildings to help us do that. Um, you can talk with your mouth. I'll put my mouth right over the mic. <laughs> and eat it. Um, but you guys don't don't want to do that. That was juvenile. I apologize. That was juvenile of me. We are at a pretty good altitude. Alright, and boom. Okay, cool. Well, you could have a live stream on YouTube with us chatting in the background. I think that would be interesting, but if anyone didn't have Discord, they'd feel left out. If they were in the YouTube chat, but couldn't be in the Discord. And I feel like one or other would get kind of, uh, like, uh, uh, trodden underfoot, I guess. Like, or forgotten, you know? I, I want to include everyone, you know. Actually, uh, can set up a chat right now. Um, yeah, I, I could, but, uh, as I said, the live stream is gonna run long anyway. Maybe, maybe next live stream, perhaps. I mean, I do have Discord, but, uh, yeah. But it's easy to get Discord. I already have Discord, as I said. By the way, uh, when you use Discord, can people see what your email is? Like, people in the chat? Because I don't want my email, which is actually my private email, the one that's linked to this YouTube channel. I don't want it to be, like, all over the internet and people emailing me and getting tons of spam. Like, you know, if my YouTube channel does get big, you know, it won't, but if it does, <laughs> never can be too careful. Nope, okay, cool. Alright, I'm gonna launch this way. 
All right. All right. I'm using my RCS to help boost me up there to go rendezvous with Jeb. Rendezvous to two vessels in the orbit of Kerbin. All right. Visual range. How far is visual range in space? In Kerbal Space Program. Because <laughs> that's rather vague. All right, we are at the end of the stream, uh, but I don't want to end the stream right now. Um... Let's see, can we raise our periapsis like that? There we go. Now we have our two vessels orbiting at various speeds. And now uh, we can go back to the space center. And we can quickly, uh, let's see, who here watches my second channel? I didn't know you had a second channel, actually. Um, patch Connex is visible in map. Okay, cool. So now, we can actually do this. So I'm going to go back and forth, I think, between the two vessels and see who has more fuel. Actually, nah, the heck with that. Okay, cool. Now, can we actually, like, mess with our Connex, or? No, we can't make maneuver nodes. Okay, great. Um, that's okay. Well, I got Tony from Tony Chronicles here. What's Tony Chronicles? Alright, at Periapsis, we're going to launch, go higher, and slow ourselves down. I think that should be relatively good. Let's see. We want this guy, Facehugger1 over here, to catch up to us. Uh, maybe I, I overcorrected a little bit. We want us to get pretty similar, like, pretty close to each other over here. And based on how close we get, you know, set as target. Oh, that's what we needed to do. <laughs> Separation, 98 kilometers. That's actually pretty close. We can change that. Actually, can we change that up here? Separation is increasing if we do do that. Separation shall decrease if I go that way. Okay, just in, in terms of it, you know. There we go. Changing separation. Okay. Tony says this. Hey. Leave some paste in my tube. What? What's Tony? Who is, who is this mysterious Tony figure who's talking to me? And about me, specifically. <laughs> Sorry if the uh, chat in this live stream is getting a bit boring for you. I don't, I, that is not my intent. Alright, um, now we can burn toward him. By him, I mean this maneuver node. Okay, and we're going to get these two lined up. Pretty dang close. Okay, good. That's as close as it'll get. Which means that we'll zip around and get to there. Bye, gonna play a terrible sound. What is that sound? <laughs> what do you mean? Terrible sound? Did I make a terrible sound? Oh no. Let's see. Sorry if my commentary is degrading, by the way. I just, I'm getting kind of tired. Anyway. Oh, uh, shoot. I didn't realize we were entering the atmosphere. That is undesirable. So take me up when it's all over. Uh, more, get more angular. Go that way. Just straight through the atmosphere. Anyway, like I said, I do need to end the stream pretty soon. We're a bit over time. However, we need to finish this situation. Alright. Target position. We need to lower our target position. We 
we need to keep an eye on where our periaps is as well. Let's see. Do any of you know of the band Jungle? I am unaware of a band called Jungle, actually. Okay, we're going to slow ourselves down. Um, slow ourselves down, target speed zero, and then we're going to burn toward it. Let's hope this works. We're already going toward it, actually. We want our closest approach to get pretty close. But we also want our periapsis to get close. Don't tell me we're in the we're out of the atmosphere again. Oh no. Oh shoot, darn it all. A really I really hear a terrible sound. Really? Is that uh, is my microphone acting up? I do hope not. Um, could try unplugging it, but I don't know what that would do to my sound setup, so I'm kind of hesitant to do so. We're in the atmosphere again. We're kind of messing this up here. I'm going to, uh, like, load our save and go back. Oh, I'm messing this up pretty badly, eh? <laughs> want to get close. No, it's not you. Okay. No need to yell. <laughs> All right, come on. Target position at closest approach. Whoa, wrong way. Okay, we want our closest approach to get low. Okay, one point two kilometers. That's good. Um, hey, uh, can you set up a chat on Discord for the next live stream, please? Sure, I will. Um, actually, we can do that at the end of this live stream. Tony is here. Who is this Tony figure? Is this The Shining and you have like a, a mysterious companion whose name is Tony? <laughs> it's like Danny calls his shine Tony because like it's weird. Stephen King is so weird. Like, if you guys have read, um, if you guys read actually Stephen King's It, because if you have, it is really, really weird. Especially at the end. Um, you're about to find out. Oh no. I think I'm in a Stephen King horror book right now. And uh, Final Space Frontierist, or Final Space Frontierist is um, kind of perpetuating this. And making it happen to me. Um, phew, it's gone. You guys are talking about mysterious noises. I'm talking about scary Stephen King books. I'm very unnerved right now. But yes, if you read the original Stephen King, It, this is a weird, weird book. Tony Orm. Tony Orm. Hi, Toothpaste Tuber. You know, I think that's your other channel. And I'll bet Tony is your real name. Haha, uh -huh, I'm stalking you. There he is, you say. Yeah, you're just switching back and forth between channels. I've done this before. <sighs> I did this on one of on a live stream of a friend that I was attending, and he freaked out. Let's see. We're getting close, Mr. Facehugger. We are getting very close. So wake me up when it's all over. So who's Tony, then? If your name is John, who's Tony? It's Mysterious Tone. Tony is my stepfather. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Stepfather of Final Space Frontierists. Um... There's something, yeah, there's something wrong with your mic. Um, what is wrong with it? Is it making a sound, or is it like, what's wrong with it? Uh-oh, there's a countdown going up, going on in the chat. I'm nervioso. Hey, we're in uh, visual range of each other. Cool. All right. Ignition! It didn't actually post uh, five through one of your chat. Yeah. He's in the room with me right now. Interesting. Here we can accomplish these. Kerbin. Transfer any crew between vessels. We can do that as well. That's why you always go back. That's the spark engine landed at Kerbin. We can do that. 
Again, I don't really have the time, so what I'm going to do is just solve that right away. And then, I'm going to go to the face hugger. One of them, I don't know who. Um, hopefully the one with fuel. And point myself at them. Generally, in their general direction. Where does the name Toothpaste Tuber come from? I've been asked about this. Um, basically, it, yeah, it sounds kind of derpy. And a bit cringy, actually. But I just wanted a name that would stick with someone and give someone a positive life message just through hearing the name. The positive life message is brush your teeth. Because teeth are very, very important and often underestimated as to their importance. Um, he looked at a tube of toothpaste and said, That's it! No, actually, that I didn't have like a divine inspiration moment like like Luther or anything like that, like Martin Luther. I had nothing like that. I just um, was like thinking over names for a YouTube channel that I wanted to start that would be um, like that would explore all the facets of my interests. And then I was like, why not toothpaste tuber? Sounds funny. It's catchy, you know. So that's it. No mysticism here. I'm sorry. Sorry to disappoint. I'm coming in rather clo or rather fast for a docking approach, um, but that's pretty good with me. All right, here it is. This looks like the derpiest thing ever. All right, now you get out. You float away over here. Uh, okay. I am focusing right now. That's why I'm being so quiet. All right. Hello, Jeb. We're doing our orbital walk with you. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Final Space Frontierists, I'm realizing that you just deleted your uh, stepfather's post about having a word with you about your teeth brushing habits. <laughs> teeth brushing is fun. And you timed him out. I don't think that that was quite necessary. That's rather rude, in fact. <laughs> anyway, um, what we can do, actually, is I want to pump all the fuel. Oh, I can't pump fuel. Darn. Okay. Um... So yeah, what we just did is we transferred crews, which is pretty cool. And we have started construction um, of our first like station, apparently. All right, I'm going to actually leave them up there, and I think I'm going to end the stream this way. Uh, yeah, Explore Minmus is our next goal. So yeah, your real name is Elijah. Nice to meet you, Elijah. I like that name. All right. Um... Let's see, so what we've done in this stream, basically, uh, for all those viewers in Archive Land who are now watching the sum up of this stream, uh, really nothing of consequence. I thought we were going to do some more stuff, but it turns out that we actually didn't. Um, anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Thanks, Kirov, and thanks, Tony. Uh, thank you to Final Space Frontiers, John, and thank you to Final Sp or to Space or Aerospace X for joining me on this stream. I do hope you all have a wonderful afternoon and evening, actually, for it is, evening. Um, and I'll see you guys next week. Um, I should be getting the third part of my uh, scripting series on creating a Roblox explosion up pretty soon. I have been slacking on that. And posting this and the previous live stream. Um, I will see you guys all um, uh, later, I guess. And as always, toothpaste on.